I, what this is is a diagram of one way to proceeding in working with the land bank and a governmental entity or a nonprofit in acquiring foreclosed REO, putting it in the land bank and then withdrawing it. Up here, I've got the inventory of foreclosed real estate, post foreclosure owned usually by the banking entities. That property is acquired by a non-governmental organization, a CDC, or by the city itself using NSP money or other funds to purchase the money that is held by the bank, the property that is held by the bank. That property then is conveyed to the land bank, which becomes the legal owner of the property. But the parties enter into a banking agreement and the terms of that banking agreement specify that the grantor is depositing the property with the land bank and can at any time withdraw the property from the land bank and convey the property out to the, a transferee. The transferee is usually identified by the nonprofit. The transferee might be Habitat for Humanity or another nonprofit that is going to own the property permanently. The advantage of this structure is it allows us to get the property that right now is REO. Banks are trying to unload it. And instead of having third party speculators from out of town, across the country, or across the world, come in and buy this property. We have the local government acquire it, or it's CDC, bank the property while the property is being rehabbed and made ready for occupancy or used ultimately for a city park. While the property is in the land bank, it is tax exempt. The land bank technically has responsibility for managing the property and either they will do it with a third party property manager or perhaps with the grantor itself. It will manage the property under a separate agreement. This is simply one option for banking where the nonprofit entities can still have full control of the property but take advantage of the tax exempt status. It doesn't have to be done this way. The local government can simply give money to the land bank to acquire the REO. But if there is a CDC or a series of nonprofits who can use either NSP money or other foundation money to acquire the REO bank it until they're ready to have an end user move into it.